Just before I start, warning again, the sun is going in and out of clouds. I've got to get this exposure sorted, so I might be doing finger and face again. Anyway, hello, James Brilling here again for a little mini contact tutorial. So I previously did a quick load video um, above. Now, um, I know what some of you are thinking, and one of you has already messaged, so don't worry. Um, surely quick load is redundant now that we've got this new library um, browser on the contact. Um, to some degree, yeah, but I'm sort of stuck in my old way, so I like the quick load. This browser is very useful. However, slightly annoying. Um, as you'll see, uh, some of my um, libraries, like Albion 4, Altus, um, let's have a look, uh, Cantus, Cinematic Guitars, Cinebrass, Cinemorphex, they don't have thumbnails. Um, uh, Gamelan, uh, look, Heaviosity products, they don't have their thumbnails. Um, and this is what this video is about. If truth be told, I already started doing a video um, with the, um, in the attempt to get this fixed. And so I follow, so I went on the, the Native Instruments website and I followed to the nth degree um, how to do this. Um, spoiler alert, it didn't work. So that really got me looking at um, third my third party plugins and how I can incorporate, instead of the quick load function, how I can incorporate them into uh, my library. So today's video is all about adding third party plugins to the contact browser and adding an image. Um, and it couldn't be easier, as I've discovered. And there are a couple of things that haven't been mentioned so far that I think are kind of important to mention in order, in order to do this every single time foolproof. So as you can see down here, I've already done a couple. I've got modern animated percussion from Sample Logic down there because that's not, you know, for the contact player. That's for full version. Um, if you come down here, look, I've got zero G Ethereum gold down there as well. It's all very possible. And if you go to my users, look, I've even put things like Zero G uh, Atlantis Prometheus. Uh, the video will be coming for that soon. And obviously there are some of the ones that are still, you know, without thumbnails. Um, but I'm hoping, you know, because they should have thumbnails, I don't really want to fiddle with them. I expect after an update they might magically appear. If I get too annoyed by it, I'll put my own thumbnails in. As you are. As. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Really easy. Now, um, let's pick a library. Let's pick a third party library. So what I want to do is I want to go to the little cog down here, press uh, import content. Let's go for this one. Add, I don't know, sound iron, six, 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 seven, voices of the dead. Okay, close. Let's close it and reopen it. See if it's happened. Where are we? Here we go. Sound iron, six, seven voices of the dead. Now, obviously it's not got any image at all. So this is where you have to get a little bit clever. First of all, let's find an image. So uh, here's Google, sound iron, six, seven images. Um, does that look nice? Yeah, it looks good. Save that. Call it um, sick seven. Close that. And well, now what you want to find is you want to find your image file of all of these things. Uh, on PC, you go to your users and public. Now, I think from here in on the Mac, you go to users and shared files, but it, it's basically the same. And you go to public documents and you find NI resources and under image are all the little images of all the libraries they should have. Now, again, as I said before on the library browser, the ones that are missing just aren't here. Um, slightly irritating that they, for some reason, we might I might have to download them um, separately. Um, but what we are doing, we're doing our own. Now, if you just go to any one of these, I don't know, time textures, and you get all of these, you are after the MST artwork. Okay, that is what you want to name for your own file. So what I want to do is I just want to, as it were, just copy this name. Copy. Yeah, and you'll see why in a minute. Um, now, these are all PNGs, and uh, native instruments say that they should be 134 by 66 pixels. 
Um, I'm telling you now, I've done it without. However, let's just follow their advice and create a picture with our um, sound iron. So, go to pictures. Go to the one we've just found. Um, find six, seven. Here we go. I'm going to open it. Basically, you just want to resize it. So I'm going to use paint on this occasion. Uh, go to up here, resize. Now turn this maintain aspect ratio off because otherwise you won't be able to get it to um, the desired, exactly the desired thing. So what did I say it was? 134 by 66. Okay. Tiny. Right. I want to save that as 67MST. Yeah. And as a PNG. Okay. This is what they suggest. And, and I'm just following what they, they advise. I, however, I have done it with a JPEG and not the same size. But anyway, I'm just showing you. Right. Save. Let's go back to the image folder. Users, public, public documents, NI resources. In this image folder, we need to create the same name as the library. Now, um, I had a few little slip ups with this. I was trying to do it on the same library as in the file explorer. I was trying to do it as the same library um, as I saw here. But the easiest thing to do I'm kidding you not, is to press it and look to the top right and it says exactly what it should appear as. So, go in here, new folder, and just type in exactly as it is, including capitals and spaces. Is that a capital of? Yeah capital T. So that looks right. So uh, there we go. Sound iron. Voices are dead. Nothing in there at the minute. Let's get a picture in there. Here's my picture. 67 MST I want. There we go. That's the one. Now just drag it in here. Okay. What you have to now do is rename it exactly the same as every single other image library which is MST artwork okay so again sound iron six sound iron six and voices of the dead in there it's there's a picture that's one three four by 66 pixels as a PNG file and I've called it MST artwork I will repeat you can do it with JPEG and it doesn't have to be the size but anyway I've I followed the advice so that is that shut it shut it close contact Load contact again. Here we go. Go down. There we go. Sound iron. Voices of the dead. It's got his own picture. And, you know, click on it. And we're there. Um, I, I, I can't stress how um, this made me a little bit happier than I was when libraries that should know better that are quite happily appearing in there, Chev and I, it's there, it's there, but it's not there. Anyway, I could do, I could follow the same process as, as I have done for all of these and make my life slightly easier, but at a principle, these should already be done. And just to repeat, Name the image folder the same as the library up here. Yeah, don't do it as the same as your file explorer library. It won't work. So that's my little mini tutorial. Um, I hope that helped. Um, it's um, it's made me it's made me hate the browser less. <laughs> if you find that it doesn't work, you could follow the the rebuild strategy, which is essentially where you trash the resources folder with all the images in it. And, and then you load it up again and contact will rebuild. Um, but that's all on the Native Instruments website. So um, I hope that's helped. A um, couple of little pointers that I've discovered along the way that have helped me. So that's me done. If you like this, give it a like. If you like what I do, please, please subscribe, ring the bell, and you'll be notified of anything else I put on in the future. Okay, stay well, everybody. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye.